Behind me you can see the finished cab inspection area. At Western Star we use the highest quality paint from PPG. So once it's painted, it comes out into this area, it's been dried and it gets visually inspected on every square inch for any defect in the paint. Our e-coat process is also chemically designed to work with the PPG paint. So what you'll see on a Western Star when it's finished is a very high gloss, high quality finish. And it stands out much better from all the other trucks. And a lot of people will ask us, why are Western Stars so shiny? That's because of our eco process and the paint that we apply here in the plant. As soon as it's done going through its inspection process, we stuff every available nook and cranny with this insulation. It gives really good acoustic and thermal insulation, which means you get better insulation from heat and cold, and it's a very, very quiet ride. Does this cost more money? Yes, it does, but if you're driving that truck all day long on the road, you're going to notice a difference. Now we're ready to finish the cab's interior on the trim line, where technicians install the driver-friendly dashboard assembly, durable upholstery, overhead console, comfortable contoured seats, heat and air conditioning, floor mats and grab handles. This is also where our Stratosphere Starlight sleeper models receive their sleepers. Here we have the Western Star Premium Dashboard. We put our power distribution module right here in the dashboard for ease of serviceability. Our competitors have theirs down in the back corner in the firewall on the driver's side. Here you can sit comfortably on the passenger seat and do any work that you need to in the power distribution module. Next, we have marine grade rocker switches. These are basically boat switches and are waterproof. The reason we use a boat switch is so that when you have to reach in from outside, let's say you've got a glove on or a mitt that's all covered in road salt and water, and you start pushing these buttons, you're not gonna cause electrical failures by getting water in these. Also, on our individual per serial wiring harnesses, we use laser etched wires. We also put laser etched stickers on that identify the actual circuit. So you don't have to bother going to get the service manual to find the wire number for an easy fix. If I was looking for the wiper motor, all I'd have to do is look under the dash and it says right there, W dot motor, very simple. On our gauges, we use a curved bezel on top of the gauge. It's elliptical, and what that does is it reduces glare. Our competitors use a very flat piece of plastic on top of theirs, and when the sun comes down through the window, you can't see the gauges. Also, all of these small gauges are plug and play, which means any location of these small gauges, just open the dash, you can remove the gauge, put it anywhere else, plug it in, and it'll work perfectly. Any one of these you can customize and put anywhere. Nobody ever thinks much about floor mats in trucks. Here's the thickness of our competitor's floor mat. Not much to it, and you don't think there is much to floor mats at all until you see a Western Star. Take a look at the thickness of this floor mat with that spongy soft insulation. It's super nice to walk on and to rest your feet on. Soft and it gives great thermal and acoustic insulation. Also, we put an underlay right here underneath this as well. You can see that we're installing double door seals. Now, we've got one door seal that goes completely around the inside on the cab and we have another door seal that goes completely around the outside of the door giving a much better seal. They don't leak air, they don't leak water. So to sum up, we've got a double wall steel cab, structural adhesive, aluminized wax, stuffed full of foam insulation, a really thick, comfortable floor mat, and double door seals. We have the quietest ride on the road. Does it cost extra? Yes, it does. But if you've got to drive that truck every day, it's worth every penny.